speed tournaments are generating hundreds of millions of dollars in revenues. Gordon Takamatsu spoke with some of the top pilots. Charles Zablon remembers when it was just a hobby of his, one he shared with a few people online. But that was then, and this is now. Zablon is now steeped full time in the drone racing craze that he says is blowing up globally. We're seeing the sport grow from uh, a couple of guys working in their backyards to now multi million dollar races are happening uh, all over the world. Next month, he's helping to organize the World Drone Prix in Dubai, featuring 100 teams. Winner gets a million dollars. Eventually, Zablon says viewers will be able to watch races from the same cameras the pilots are using, a streaming component that Bloomberg News says already generates billions of dollars a year. Pilot Ricky Martinez shows us how fast and maneuverable the quadcopters are, zipping past tree trucks at 60, 70, even 80 miles an hour. We asked him about FAA rules, which now require registration and restrict flights near airports. So there's some restrictions, but they're easy to follow. There are now four or five drone racing leagues, they tell us, melding military and security technology with video game, which is already a multi-billion dollar industry. Most of the racers build their own aircraft. This particular model is probably about 400 bucks. And unlike in those video games, when they crash, something actually gets damaged. But says Martinez, in a strange way, that's part of the fun. As the Dalton K